everybody. This book is called Martin Luther King Jr. And it was written by Kitson Jazinka. Martin Luther King Jr. Who was Martin Luther King Jr.? Can you imagine a world where laws kept black and white people apart? Where black children couldn't swim in the same pools as white children or go to the same schools? A place where laws made it hard for black people to vote? Or where a black person had to stand up on a bus so a white person could sit down? This world was real and it happened in the United States. Words to know. Civil rights. The rights that all people in the U.S. have to be treated as equals. Statues at the National Civil Rights Museum in Memphis, Tennessee. That's what those are. Martin Luther King Jr. worked hard to change rules so that they could be the same for whites and blacks. He didn't do it by fighting. He helped change unfair laws by making people think. He did it by making people feel. He did it with his words. Words to know. Protest. To say you don't agree with something. Protesters. People who protest are called protesters. When protesters want unfair things changed, they sometimes march to show others that they do not agree with what is happening. Dr. Martin, or it just says Dr. King marches in a protest. Lots of black people and white people helped Dr. King protest those laws. This made many people angry because they didn't want change. But in the end, the protesters won and the rules changed forever. Growing up, Dr. King was born in 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. He was named after his father. He was called ML. Small but strong, ML rode bikes with his brother and sister. That's a fact. ML's boyhood home on Auburn Avenue in Atlanta is open to the public. The boyhood home of Martin Luther King Jr. That means that's where he lived when he was a child. ML's father was a minister of a church. He taught his children to stand up for what is right. He taught them to speak out against what is wrong. He taught them that all people deserve justice, which means that they should be treated fairly. When he was six, ML's best friend told him he was no longer allowed to play with ML. Why? Because ML was black and his friend was white. Segregation laws were meant to keep black people and white people apart. They kept kids apart too. ML felt bad. Why wasn't he good enough to play with his friends? Words to know. Segregation. Keeping someone or something apart from others. This movie theater had separate, a separate rear entrance for black, blacks. Black people. ML's mother told him he was just as good as anybody else. And she told him the world was wrong. He wiped his tears. Then ML promised that one day he would change the world. So here's his father, mother, grandmother. Here's ML, and that's his brother, Alfred Daniel, and that's his sister, Christine. Change for Peace. Martin Luther King Jr. received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. At that time, he was the youngest person ever to have received it. He was just 35 years old. Words to know, Nobel Peace Prize, an important award given for outstanding work towards peace. In his time, Martin Luther King Jr. was a boy in the late 1930s. Many things were different from how they are today. Transportation, most people still traveled by horse and buggy only some people were lucky enough to have cars. Cities. 
Some of New York City's famous skyscrapers were finished in the 1930s. Two of them are the Empire State Building and the Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center. Money. Candy bars cost a penny. That doesn't sound like much, but dollars and pennies were worth a lot more back then. U.S. Events. Many people did not have jobs during this time, called the Great Depression. Most people had very little money. Toys and free time. Children played board games and listened to programs on the radio for fun. School. Times were tough. Some families couldn't afford to send their kids to school. Books, clothes, and shoes were too expensive. A Way With Words. M.L. grew up listening to sermons in church. He learned how powerful words can be used to help people understand ideas. When M.L. was 14, he entered a speech contest. He put his anger about the unfairness of separate rules for white people and black people into words. He made people think. He made them feel. The judges loved his speech and he won. This is Ebenezer Baptist Church. Um, is, this is where M.L. learned the power of words. That's a fact. M.L. not only grew up in Ebenezer Baptist Church, but he later became a minister there as well. And I have actually been there. Mrs. Blomseth is talking. And when I went to Atlanta, I thought I should go see it for myself. And there's a Martin Luther King Jr. Museum there. Words to know. Sermon. A long talk, usually given in church. On the bus ride home from the speech contest, the driver told M.L. and his teacher to give up their seats to white people. M.L. had to stand for two hours. He was mad, but he didn't say anything. He knew he could be arrested, hurt, or even killed if he did. A student of peace. He went to Morehouse College. There he is with his fellow students. That's a fact. ML skipped two grades in high school. He started college very early at age 15. ML worked hard in school. He finished college when he was 19 years old. He moved to the northeastern U.S. and continued his school. He wanted to be a minister like his father. And here's Morehouse College. In 1952, ML met Coretta Scott and fell in love. They got married and moved, to, moved south to Alabama. There, ML worked as a minister. By 1955, he had gone as far as you can go in school. He had earned the title doctor. Now he was Dr. King. So you don't have to be a medical doctor, like a doctor that you go to when you're sick, to be called a doctor. It just means that you've gone to school for a long time, long enough to have a doctorate degree, and then you are called doctor. Helping others. The Kings moved back to the South to work for equal rights. They saw that not much had changed for black people there. They still couldn't swim in pools or go um, to school with whites. They still had to stand on buses so white people could sit. In Alabama, Dr. King had a chance to help. A bus driver told, uh, told a woman named Rosa Parks to give up her seat to a white person, but she didn't get up. Rosa Parks was arrested because she had broken the law. Lots of people went to a meeting to decide what to do. Maids, janitors, and other working people rode the buses. They asked people not to ride buses until blacks and whites had the same rules. They called it a boycott. They put Dr. King in charge because he had a way with words. In his own words, Always feel that you count. Always feel that you have worth. Words to know. Boycott. To stop using service as a way to protest it. For more than a year, black people walked. They took cabs. They even rode mules to get around. The boycott was not easy, but finally people listened. 
black people and white people would have the same rules on buses. Unfortunately, many white people did not follow the new rules. Here's people boycotting the buses. They wave to an empty bus driving by. So nobody's using the bus. Dr. King and Coretta Scott King lead a five-day march to Montgomery, Alabama in 1965. That's them right there. In his own words, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Dr. King went all over the country giving speeches. He talked about injustice and civil rights. He made people think. He made people feel. And he asked people to join him in, in protests for change. Blacks and whites marched together to protest bad laws. They went to places where only whites are, were allowed. A lot of them got arrested. Angry people called them names. Sometimes the marchers were hurt or even killed. Injustice, behavior or treatment that is unfair. Newspapers, television, and radio reported it all. People around the country were mad. They saw how bad it was to have separate rules. Peaceful protest. Dr. King wanted to make the world a better place. He did this with peace, not hate or violence. People sometimes hurt him, but Dr. King did not hurt them back. He fought back with peaceful protests and powerful words. In his own words, Love is the most durable power in the world. Durable means that it's strong and it lasts a long time. One person who saw what was going on was President John F. Kennedy. The president wanted to show that he agreed that the rules should be the same for blacks and whites. So he invited Dr. King to visit him in the White House. Words to know, peaceful quiet and not disturbed by fighting or arguing. Another word is violence, hurting someone or something. And this is President Kennedy and this is Dr. King. President John F. Kennedy met with Dr. King and other civil rights leaders at the White House. Eight awesome facts about Dr. King. One, Dr. King and his father were both named Michael King. But his father changed their names in 1934. Two, once Dr. King was hit with a brick during a peaceful protest, he didn't fight back. He kept walking. Ouch. Three, Dr. King liked to dance. Four, Dr. King learned good ideas from a man from India named Gandhi. He used peaceful protests to fight unfair laws. Five, Dr. King gave 2,500 speeches during the last 11 years of his life. Six, the statue of Dr. King at his memorial in Washington, D.C. is huge. Its head weighs 27 tons. Seven, Dr. King told people to love each other like brothers and sisters. Eight, Dr. King and Coretta Scott King had four children, Yolanda, Martin, Luth Martin Luther III, Dexter, and Bernice. The end.